Hey guys, name is Fen, playing some missions, and I'm Fen. Last time I busted into a room which busted the room wide open like I was big ass bagel face. I think I took the thing out of the chest there, and there seems to be a book. Let's read it. Two months ago, times are tough for men of brilliance such as myself. Even with the mechanists gone, their advanced technology endures, making life difficult for all other inventors and scientists. It's become nearly impossible, affording not only the rent for my residence here in Stone Market, but also for my workshop next door. This is a promising area, though, with lots of money and people of influence. I already received one contract from Jack Trumaine across the street. I put in an alarm system on his lower floor and storeroom, controlled by a lever in one of his upstairs rooms. He's actually a very down-to-earth guy. We enjoyed a wine on his balcony and laughed at the Hammerites coming out of their cathedral, marching and chanting and practicing their ancient ways. What a bunch of relics. Someone should put them out of their misery. That aside, I surprisingly have a meeting with the City Watch next week, which could be a lucrative business opportunity for me. I have a few weapon ideas that I think might interest them. One month ago? Who writes in the past? Seriously. No, getting that contract with the City Watch has been a godsend. With the kind of money they receive from the city for funding, well, let's just say it's nice to have paying customers for once. I have some new smaller clients here in Stone Market, and a few over in Shalebridge as well. But with this City Watch deal on top, I should be set for a couple of years. Their payments will go a long way towards helping fund research for my future projects and assisting in building up some inventory. Two weeks ago, my first project for the City Watch was to develop high security lockboxes for installation on some of their more sensitive storage locations. I came up with a few models, a standard version in red and an advanced version in orange. These locks are a thing of beauty, virtually unpickable by any thief. I randomized the tumbler movement to confuse them further. I even put one of the red ones on my workshop next door. Quite happy with how they turned out. The orange version is still a prototype, but I believe the watch put one on the holding cell over by the Hammerite Temple. Ten days ago, began devising some new weaponry today for the blue coats. This is exactly the type of research I've been wanting to get involved with. I've got several ideas in my head. Now it's just a matter of bringing them to life. I've adapted one of my machines in the workshop to create a shielded explosive, somewhat like a starburst device, sunburst device, not candy, but protected from random detonations by stray fire arrows. I've subcontracted with Garrison to create some detonators for the devices. Currently, it's the only way to trigger them. I've got a meeting with Tobias next week, Tobias? So we can divine, design some timers, but the devices will work without timers for now. By default, they have a five second delay. A bit tight, but enough time to get out of the way. Five days ago, the watch called me into an emergency meeting this morning. They need me to devise and produce some high-tech weaponry in a hurry. It seems the rumors spreading throughout the district are true. Several undead have been roaming around freely, and their numbers seem to be increasing. I've completely ignored sleep and gotten to work right away. No time for prototypes or experimentation. I need to produce something in the next day or two and get it into their hands ASAP. I have some ideas on the drawing board, and I'll need to adapt them to this specific dilemma. Apparently, the undead are attracted to sound, so I'll try to use that to my advantage. Hopefully, things aren't as bad as they're making them out to be, but I've heard some ugly reports from South Quarter. I got a note from Garrison that his detonators are ready to go. We just need to get them out of the warehouse over near Terse's Courtyard on St. James Lane. Two days ago. All is lost. The city is overrun. Everything happened so quickly. I don't know where those things came from, but defeating them now will be near impossible. I think most of the city watch is dead. Even if I had been able to get some of my weapons into their hands sooner, I'm not sure it would have helped. I'm packing up what I can and heading for the mountains. I'm taking my inventions with me. It's every man for himself now. I've left my design docks in the safe downstairs because old people say docks. If by chance someone can put them to use in the future by scavenging supplies, the code is 431. Oh my god. Code memories from System Shock 2 over here. But this code is no joke. It's a code. It's not the big old joke book full of terrible jokes. Shopping list. Inverted gear pegs. Oxnords in New Market. 
TNT gel, across the street at Jack's Chemical Storage, split head screws, hardware plaza downtown, broadhead shafts, volume discount at Carlin's in Eastport, trigger core, Jordan may have one of these over at his storage in South Quarter, piston grease, Barnaby owes, is that supposed to be Barnaby? Owes me, get case from him. Grenade timers, check with Tobias. Steel plate, steel shortage at the moment, check Devon's pawn shop. Trilock tool, Willoughby's near the pub in Aldale. Aldale, so I'll be going to Aldale too, will I? Well, that's, that's bigger than Haplos mission, I think, yeah. Yeah, there are more areas, unless, I, unless I'm not going there, which is, eh, a possibility, I suppose. That's loot. And that's untakeable. It's all very fantastic. Well, anyways, 4, 3, and 1. It has been upgraded from a simple lock to a complex lock. Design dock grenades. Oh, Willie. Really. Master design dock. Bombs slash grenades. Shielded charge. Fully tested and working. Resist detonation from outside sources, including fire-enhanced projectiles. Works in conjuncture with garrison detonators. Timer implementation forthcoming, but not yet complete. Agent of production. Injecting machine. Ingredients required. TNT gel, steel plate, and a trigger core. Method of production. TNT gel and steel plate in base material slot. Trigger core in injection slot. Motion grenade. Unstable. Prototype only. When thrown, locks onto target and will follow before permanent attachment. Oh my god, a bomb chew? Awesome! Primary issue. Explosive only detonates 25% of the time. Secondary issue. Prototype model disappeared overnight. Has yet to be found. Agent of production. Blacksmith assistance. Ingredients required. Acid mixture. Homing core. Steel plate. Method of production. Steel plate is molded to a spherical shape. Acid and homing core are then applied and fine-tuned by hand using various tools. I guess this is trying to tell me I can't make it. Knockdown grenade. <laughs> I grenade will knock you all down. Working more field testing needed. Results somewhat unreliable. About 70%. Designed specifically to work with the undead. Area effect will knock down, but not permanently disable, any undead within a certain radius. Toxin only coat subject does not inject within. Shock factor temporarily disables undead. May do some minimal destructive damage as well. Agent of production, workbench, ingredients required, flash grenade core, and neurotoxin vial. Method of production, toxin injected by hand. Oh, okay. Whoops. There's, oh, oh, I see. Can't take this one for some reason. Master design dock, projectiles, neurotoxin arrow. Minimally tested, but working. Upon impact, injects victim with a toxic poison which specifically targets the central nervous system and brain. Will permanently disable, kill, any undead. Caution. May cause paralysis or instant comatose state on living human beings. Agent of production. Broadhead infuser. Ingredients required. Standard broadhead and vial of neurotoxin. Amount. One vial produces five arrows. Nitro arrow. In use for a while now, fully working. Normally used at construction sites for demolition purposes. Now adapted for the undead, explosive area has been minimized as not to damage surrounding human targets. Will not work with shielded charge. Agent of production. Broadhead infuser. Ingredients required. Standard broadhead and vial of nitroglycerin. One vial produces five arrows. Man, why can't I use TNT in place of nitroglycerin? That sounds sensical, doesn't it? Oh. Hey, knockdown grenades, and inventor's house key, which isn't quite the key I was hoping for, but, uh, well, Aldale seems to be through there, I guess. I don't know. Old Quarter was the way to get to Aldale in, uh, in friggin' Thief, friggin' whatever, right? Hey, wait a minute. A blackjack. I mean, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to need a blackjack for? Is this some kind of total joke? Like, hey, here's a mission with literally nothing but zombies. Have a blackjack. That is amazing. I will try it out right away. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Uh, I'm dead. Bum, bum, bum. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've got all these notes. I guess I could make some of these detonations explosive. Oh, yeah, and then I get to the docks. I don't know. Uh-oh. Hey, two of them are there. What's with these respawning fools? Honestly, maybe they just get back up or something. But, uh, anyways, 
where where I'm actually going. Maybe that neurotoxin knocks him down, but doesn't that then like they get back up because it doesn't kill him or something? I don't know. Anyways, I've got some note to tell me, and I'm pretty sure I've got all the stuff. So TNT gel steel plate in a trigger core. TNT gel and steel plate in base material. Okay, that's what this. All right. I put the TNT gel and the steel plate and the trigger core over here. Which I wait a minute. A trigger? Did it say a trigger core? Oh, I don't have a trigger core. I've got some other thing—a detonator. Where did it say to get the trigger core from? Storage in South Quarter. I got a feeling it's talking about that one place where you need a key to get in because there's a little crate. Oh. Nope, nothing here. There's a little crate for this guy over there. One very long walk later. Yeah, is it this? I mean, I, I don't know about that, man. I mean, this, this crate here. Elias Jordan, Norrington Court, Stone Market, property of. Yeah, well, maybe I have to get on top, but I tried that before, I'm sure. However, I don't know if this is wood or not. Let me see. Oh, it is. Well, then there's got to be something over here. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like, pff. things have got to exist at some point. There's even a ladder up there and stuff. And where's the key, you dumb bastard? Doesn't really look like the intended path at all. No, I do not think the lucky will be here. Oh, so I missed, you know, this arrow in here, and I also missed a book and a subjective or something. My store is trashed. After the outbreak and chaos, people came in waves and just started taking whatever they wanted. Luckily, I did manage to hide away a few weapons in some old toolboxes before all hell broke loose. I've got four stashes spread throughout the area here. One in South Quarter, one in Stone Market proper, one near Terza's Courtyard, and one at the docks. Hopefully I can get to them safely and in one piece. Oh. One in Stone Market proper, one near Terza's Courtyard, and one at the docks. Okay. <laughs> Which one weapons could be useful? Look for the four stashes. Optional. Great. Oh, more arrows. Fantastic. As if. Oh, rope arrow. Why do I have 11 ropes? That is totally ludicrous. Where am I ever going to use 11 ropes in this mission for? Searching, searching for a key. It's dangerous, Aki. Get out of here. The chef always tells us that an ideal kitchen is one where you can eat off the floor or something. Terse's courtyard, eh? Well, that's probably the stash up there. I don't know. This place looks a bit dead. Whatever happened here, I think we missed it, sir. Oh, look at the slaughter. Nobody's gotten up again as far as I can tell. It's fantastic. Dude gives me 11 rope arrows, but he said not to climb in the reed me because he just kept this wood for aesthetic purposes or something weird like that. Uh, but... I don't, I don't know about that sort of plan. No. Well, that dude headed for the mountains, which don't exist in this mission. Therefore, um, I'm gonna end it here for no reason. See you guys next time. This has been Fen Abrupt Fenerson. Bye for now.